Hey guys, before this video kind of gets into it, um, I'm just going to let you guys know to check out Zeplock. He's the one that taught me the method 2 of this video. And uh, yeah, go subscribe to him, like his videos, and yeah, we'll carry on to the rest of this video. Now. Yeah. So you'll find what you're looking for when you stop looking All of your exes with lessons in We'll talk about them again You keep on settling Wonder if love is a pain of the medicine You never let it in Hey guys, what is up? Phobia here today And we're bringing you guys a little a little tutorial video Okay, so There's two methods of how we're going to do this I'm going to show you guys um, the text that I showed in Or the text that I used in my frag movies So method one, which was my method Is what you do is using a 1920 by 1080 canvas I'm just going to select everything, change this color to black, and then hit Alt and Backspace, and that'll fill that. You can then create a new layer, use a text, you probably want to close that, use a text because it'll be black. Let's just call this tutorial uh, number one. Create this any size you want. Um, I'm going to take out the number one. A little bigger. You can change the text to whatever you want to use. I'm going to go with... Let's go with this. This looks cool. There we go. Alright, so basically what you can do is you can, while hitting, holding control, you can click on this little box right here, and that will do all of this. Let's select it all, and click on this one and hit control J. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. While this is selected, you want to click up your tool up here, hit right click and hit select inverse. That'll select all of the outside and not the text. Now you want to go on your uh, thing, hit control J and the screen will be like that. It'll cut it out automatically for you. Or you could just uh, go back and just cut it out normally. Which is you, whichever way you find easier. Um, you're going to want to turn this down to 90. And enter on that. And then you'll have the opacity in the back. You can change this down to whatever you want, but I feel like 90. 80 to 90 is probably the best range you want to keep that in. I'll save this uh, to the desktop, whatever. Not a JPEG, you want to save it as PNG so it's uh, opaque. Save it. We'll go to my desktop. Or no, my on Vegas. Where is it? Right here. Open this here. Move this up top. And then you'll have. All right, so that's the first way to do it. All right, for the second method, we're gonna go with the Photoshop, back in Photoshop, and we're going to type tutorial on my text. This text you cannot see at the moment. I'll change it to a to a black background, just to kind of show you what it looks like. That's what my text looks like. Um, if you guys wanna know which text I am using, I'm using Colors of Autumn with regular and yeah, and then I have a style that I'm using that's just kind of adds in like that effect. Anyways, let's take off this bottom layer, tutorial. Let's have this a little bit, come on, a little bigger. Just for this. You want to file save as a PNG. If I can spell, let's put this on the desktop. Uh, shit. There we go. Alright, now going back to the desktop, we'll grab this tutorial number two, throw it in here, throw it above this one. We're going to want another track. We'll throw this up here. We're going to hit U on this so that it is not grouped. I'm going to hold control, move it up here, have it up there. Now with this, it'll kind of already be a little see-through. 
I want to make this the child. I want to give this a little dodge, I think. I think that's the... No, not that layer. This layer is on dodge. Oh, okay. Perfect. Wait. There. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. This layer, this top layer is on dodge of the text of the file. This layer is just on source alpha, which is the normal. And then this layer will be a parent of this uh, layer, so it'll always be appearing above this. But since this text is kind of dodging this, it'll just it'll just add that effect. So it'll look like that. And that is uh, about it. I'll yeah. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and uh, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Peace.